You ready, bird? You ready for this? All right. like you're ready to move huh did you finish off all your grass look at that she's got some selenium there and then two zero two three some water. Maybe I need a shorter bucket for her. I know. We're going to go refill two buckets anyways, so she'll be able to reach it easier, but... I know, poor Joy. Hmm. Well, yeah, she struggles a little bit. I know, poor thing. Two. Two. Good job. Here, shutting the chickens in and collecting some eggs. So, with this egg glue, it just has this dial at the top, and that closes their little door. And we don't have to mess with the run at all. And then we open this guy up and see how many eggs we got. Looks like we got three in there. I don't have treats, I got eggs. <laughs> yep, I'm just coming to check on you guys, do a final check. Make sure your fence is shut in and make sure your charger's on nighttime mode. Yeah, the charger's 
set up. All right, be good out here, sheep. So we just found some kind of muddier areas of their paddock and overseeded and they seem to think it's food so hopefully they're not actually eating that. I don't think they are, they're just smelling it. Because we definitely don't want them to eat it obviously. We're going to be using a mix of alfalfa and clover, it's ladino red, crimson clover, alfalfa and chicory. <laughs> And we'll see how that works later in the year. Honestly, it's probably swampy probably all the way to the end over there you walk around that corner and it's really puggy it's like there's a it, the ground is kind of bubbled up over there there's so much water most of the time and in the summer it's not so bad over there but any other time it's it's kind of weird it's like walking on a water bed or something it's a cold morning today so we did notice the sheep eating the seed that we were laying down I don't know if they'll always do that but I think they mistake it for grain so we stopped putting the seed in ahead of them or in the same paddock that they were in at least and uh, just started seeding behind them I think it might be okay if you put some seed down like a day ahead of time but not while they're in there they'll try and eat it the system that we're using right now uh, obviously means that we have to move fences quite often uh, at least twice a day we set up the temporary that's just one section and then we set up uh, two section paddock for them okay come on girls So this paddock is really temporary. There's just not much in this little spot. But this is just kind of to hold them while I set up their next one. 
Well, you girls were just out here sunning yourselves, weren't you? Hanging out in the sun. So we got this long strip right here for them to graze. This gets them over to that tree line. And then we're gonna start working down this way. And then back up and around. That tree line holds some pretty good grass. The only thing I don't like over there is how wet and uh, mushy the ground gets, but we'll just have to see how it goes. We're not expecting rain really until I think Thursday or so. So it's pretty windy. It'll give the ground a little bit of a chance to dry slightly. So it's not going to get more mushy by the time they get over there. And uh, it's going to be cold though at night. We're supposed to get really cold. Below freezing again for a while. Look at these goofy things. Getting playful. They get so excited when it's moving time. Got Rudy over there. She's the only one with the horns. And she'll use them a little bit, mostly playfully, but... Asserting her place in the food chain here. Okay. Well, I'm going to be moving them here. All right, come on, girls. 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 Come on, girls.